Hey everybody, it's Friday, March 24th, 2017. I'm outside here on a walk and I wanted to share with you my thoughts on social media. Now, if you're anything like me, you probably have a number of social media accounts. And I have an embarrassing confession. And I mean, literally, this is embarrassing. I'm not proud of it, but I'm sharing it to hopefully benefit you or someone else you know. I was addicted to social media. I was addicted to social media. I would tell myself, okay, I won't check it until tomorrow. And I would check it half an hour later. I would tell myself, okay, I'm gonna take a break from social media for the rest of the day. And I would end up checking it like five, six, seven, eight, sometimes like 10 or 11 times in a, in a single half day period. Now, some people believe that YouTube is social media and I totally understand where they're coming from with that. In my opinion, I don't consider YouTube social media. Again, I totally get it if you do think it's social media, but for me, I don't think of social media involving YouTube, but my big six, and when I say the big six, these are the six that I use the most. There are more social media platforms than these six I'm mentioning, but the six that I use the most are Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, Google+, and LinkedIn. Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, Google+, and LinkedIn. Now, I told myself in the very beginning of 2017, so we're going back to New Year's, you know, of course, New Year's resolutions going into January 1st, that I would stay off social media. And get this, get this, January 1st, I'm checking social media all day. January 2nd, uh, Monday, it was a Monday, so Monday, January 2nd, 2017, I'm checking social media. And I had to be, at this point, very honest with myself. I looked myself in the mirror, in the eye, and I said, I am checking social media too much. I am going on it even when I tell myself I'll be off it. I can stay away from it. I'm constantly checking on it. It was decreasing my productivity. And at one point, and I'm, I'm not exaggerating here, it was even decreasing my happiness, not because social media is inherently bad, but because it was so much consuming my thought processes, like what are, is my next post, what's my next tweet, what am I gonna put on Pinterest, what am I gonna put on Facebook, and it was just consuming my thought processes. It was really taking away from my productivity. So Tuesday, January 3rd, 2017, that morning I woke up and I said, it is time to make a change. And I was very real with myself. I said, this is not something that I can play around with anymore because I've tried to step away from it for a day or two at a time. I've tried to step away from it for even a couple hours and I couldn't. And again, that's very embarrassing to admit, but I'm hopefully connecting with someone out there like one of your friends, family members, or maybe even yourself that might be experiencing the same thing. And listen to this, I have been off social media now for, more than two months, two and a half months, actually going on three months, and I am going to stay off social media until mid-April. So from January 3rd until roughly like April 14th. So that's about more than three months, a little less than three and a half months off of social media. And again, I did check YouTube, but not the notifications on YouTube. I just checked YouTube to watch inspirational videos. So I did use YouTube appropriately. And of course, posting videos such as these. But I, again, I stayed off those six social media channels that I uh, mentioned earlier. And I realized some of the powerful benefits and impact were that my productivity increased. My happiness levels were a little bit better. I had more creativity. I had more time in the day to work on my book. I was actually being more present with friends and family members instead of checking my phone like while I was with them and perhaps checking Facebook or Twitter or Pinterest really quickly while I'm with them and I wanna see who liked my quotes on Facebook and who retweeted my latest tweet and did anyone engage with my, my Pinterest, uh, you know, my Pinterest uh, photos that I put on there. And I, I really was having this interfere with my, my family and friend time as well. So. Um, I did finally give it up and, and I found myself being more present. Now, I don't want to make myself out to be some uh, addict either. I mean, I'm being very transparent right now where I'm throwing myself under the bus on purpose where yes, I was checking it nonstop constantly. But at the same time, 
of course I still went about my day and I would, you know, I would still do my normal activities. So it wasn't like I was like completely immersed in it to the point where I couldn't function, but it was getting there. It was getting there. And like I said, I was addi addictively checking it all day long. Now get this, here's another wake up call. Another wake up call is I recently heard a couple people chatting and they were talking about someone who got in a car accident because they were checking Facebook while driving. So I realized from that story that I'm not the only one who has checked Facebook addictively when perhaps they didn't want to, but they felt that urge or need to check it. So here are my concluding thoughts here. As I talk about social media, I share with you that I have taken this hiatus. We're at the approaching the end of March now, 2017. So I'm going to be off Facebook and the other social media channels for about another two and a half, three weeks, and then I'll be back on it. I'm not against social media. And there are some people out there, there are some authors out there who are against social media. I respect that and I get it, but here's what I'm here to tell you. Bring it back into balance. What I told myself is that when I do go back on social media in mid-April and beyond, I'll still check my channels, but just within more of a balance, not addictively. Perhaps I'll set some times during the week I can check it and not have it become an addiction, but rather it be a vehicle to inspire people. Because look, there's a lot of good that can come from social media. You can connect with new people, you can connect with old friends, you can inspire people, you can share positive articles, you can maybe talk about something bad that happened and you, you want support from friends in the community that will help you deal with that unexpected setback that you are dealing with. So there's a lot of good that can come from social media. I'm not against it completely. I just think that it has some serious addictive capacities, some serious addictive qualities. And that beca uh, that's what I became aware of and, and it's why I stepped away from it for as long as I did, which will be over three months by the time I go back on in mid-April. And I don't have an addictive personality. Here's what's scary. I don't have an addictive personality. I don't smoke. I only drink on special occasions with friends. My habits are pretty good for the most part. Of course, I'm always improving, but I don't have an addictive personality. So the fact that social media could addict me when I don't have an addictive personality made me realize, wow, this platform is built and designed to addict you. It's built and designed to, to capture your attention. So remember, social media is positive and can be used for good, but either you control social media or social media controls you. And I've fallen into that trap of letting social media control me, addictively checking it all day, having it decrease my happiness and, le and levels of productivity as well as taking away from being truly present and engaged with friends and family. So I've been there too. But remember, either you control social media or social media controls you. What's my parting words of advice from this experience? You don't have to take a three and a half month break from it like I did. That was a long time and that's what worked for me to help me balance out all the times that I was on social media and to reevaluate some of my social media habits. That's what worked for me. My suggestion to you is to yes, take a break, but your break could be two days. Your break could be a day. Your break could be one week or whatever you determine that, that time that I, is ideal for you. So don't think you have to suddenly do what I did, the, the three month and whatever it'll end up being three months and 10 days, over three months of, of taking a break from it. But, but make sure you stay in control of your social media habits. And above all, I'm sharing this for awareness, just to make you more aware of it. Maybe you check Instagram like I did constantly all day. Maybe you're gonna check Instagram one less times per day because of this video. Or maybe you're gonna decide to go on Facebook one less time per week because of this video. I'm not saying to make a drastic shift and I'm not like other people out there who are completely against social media because I have told people, I mean, I have heard people say, you gotta get off social media completely, it's all bad. I don't, I don't agree with that. There are good elements to social media. It can inspire people, it can build community, it can build friends and I'm talking about real friends, not, not fake friends, when you connect with people in the right way. So there's a lot of good elements to it, just stay in control of it. Maintain that awareness, keep your habits in balance, and remember, either you control social media or social media controls you. If you like this video, please hit like and leave a comment below, specifically comment on what are your habits with social media? Are you in control of it more than I was previously? Do you have a set schedule or do you just check it at various times during the day? I'd love to know your thoughts. 
Please share this video with friends and family. Let's spread the word about increasing our awareness with social media, not only using social media for inspirational positive uses, but to also be aware of our social media habits so that we're not checking it so addictively and that we become more in control of our, of our daily uh, our daily thought processes and our, our daily habits. And again, as always, like I like to say this at the end of every video, thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time and I mean that sincerely from the bottom of my heart, you spent the time watching this video. I hope it offered some value to you to at least reevaluate your own social media habits or perhaps to share this with somebody else who might need to hear it. Have a wonderful day and stay true to yourself. As always, I will see you, my friend, at the mountaintop.